All right, so the treaty law, remind me. Easy schmeasy, right? Where does it show up? Remember we have our tree and our T article? Six, clause two. Very good. All right, we're going to have the same analogy we always do, right? The car and the mechanic shop analogy. We got our players, right? The car owner representing the people in the states and the mechanic shop representing the federal government. Now, in this case, though, it's a little bit different. We're introducing some other characters again. And we're not going to just talk about one mechanic shop, our mechanic shop. We're going to talk about a bunch of other mechanic shops. And in this case, these mechanic shops get together, okay? They all get together and they, and they talk amongst themselves and they come up with a contract with an idea that they're all going to agree to that anytime any person brings their car into any one of those shops, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to write in that contract, we're going to give you an engine overhaul for $10,000, okay? So you have this agreement among mechanic shops that says, hey, here's how we're going to treat incoming customers. First thing you do is you overhaul their engine, okay? So, you do what you always do, you take your car into the mechanic shop and say, hey, let's, let's write this contract up, I want you to do an oil change for me, okay? And your friend the mechanic says, you bet, let's go for it. He walks the inside, you look at the contract, and right there it says, oh wait, not only does it say oil change, but the first thing there it says, we're going to overhaul your engine for a cost of $10,000, right? <laughs> now wait a second, and you say, I, I don't want my engine overhauled, okay? And the mechanic shop says, sorry sir. Just the rules for all mechanic shops now. All those mechanic shops got together and decided that we would charge car owners for an engine overhaul every time they come in. And you say, well, it's my car, and all I want you to do is an oil change. Nothing we can do about it. We signed a contract, and we have to live up to our agreement with our other car shops. Right? We need to be men of our word. We, we signed this contract. We're going to follow through. And the car owner says, I don't care about your agreement with the other car shops. <laughs> Look. What other car shops want to do with their customers is their business. But it has nothing to do with what I want you to do for me. And all I want you to do for me is to change my oil. Okay? Got a legitimate point there? I think he does. I just want you to change my oil. I don't, really care. I don't care what other contract that you've signed with other mechanic shops. It has nothing to do with us, right? Okay, so let's, let's apply the analogy here, okay? Remember we have our, our car shops. Okay, those car shops are representative of other nations, okay? Other governments who are getting together and they're forming and signing a contract. That contract is the same as a treaty, okay? A treaty has to deal with the interaction be between nations, all the international, external, foreign things that happen, okay? So that treaty is set up that way. So that's how we apply that, this analogy. And then you look at the mechanic shop and, and the car owner. We already know they represent the federal government and the people in the states. And what's the contract between them? Well, it represents the Constitution, right? The Constitution has to do with all the internal things, all the things that happen, there's a big word called domestic, all things that happen internally inside of a nation, the Constitution's in charge of those. So would it make sense for a treaty, which is an agreement among nations, to come into our nation and tell us what, what uh, is going to happen between our government and us? Does that make any sense? Of course not. That has to do with international issues, it doesn't have to do with national issues, okay? So for, for a treaty to come in and trump the Constitution and take over for the Constitution, and have other nations be deciding for us how we're going to run our country. It's completely contrary to the idea of us being in charge of our government, not other nations being in charge of our government. 